Um, a, a parents often ask what to do because they've moved into the crib and the baby squiggle, squirms and wiggles and hits their head on the crib rails, the crib sides, and they're worried that it's going to bother the baby. And so they want to know, can we do bumpers? Can we do vertical, like, like mesh things to protect baby? And what I'm going to tell you is, first and foremost, I have a free um, sleep, safe sleep workshop. And the link I'll put in the description below so that you can check that out if you're wondering, how do I make sure my baby sleeps safe? Because it might be news to you that bumpers are not really safe. Bumpers shouldn't go in cribs because, I mean, we had bumpers with our first baby and it's like the cute thing that you get for your baby's crib and it makes it, you know, just ties the whole scene together really nicely but they can come loose. The baby can get stuck underneath them. They can pull one of the ends off and then get stuck. And it's just, you know, there's just lots of ways that babies can get entangled within bumpers. Um, and so I think it's best to just forget the bumpers. They do look cute, uh, but they are not safe and they're definitely not necessary. Now, what we know about babies is they care a lot less about where and how and how comfortable they sleep than we as parents think they do. I can tell you that your four month old in two years, you'll say, stay in your bed night, night, and you'll come back in the morning and they'll be asleep with their rump up on the floor with no pillow and be totally comfortable. And they won't wake up with like a crick in their neck or complaining all day about sleeping on the floor. Kids just don't experience the same level of discomfort as adults do when it comes to sleeping. So if baby moves himself over and positions himself with his head hitting the rails, do not worry about it. You don't need to move him. I would try not to wake him up because if you move him, you risk waking him up and then having to go through that. I would just leave baby alone and recognize that baby will be totally fine. On the same topic, parents wonder what's the right humidity and the temperature and the amount of light. Babies do not care about any of those things. If your house is between 65 and 80 degrees, or I'll even say 60 and 80 degrees, your baby will be fine. You have to remember that 100 years ago, there was no such thing as central air. There could have been, I don't know. I'm just making it, you know, it, there could have been central air 100 years ago. 200 years ago, there was not central air. There was not um, central heating. People warmed themselves by stove fire. It was dangerous, blah, blah, blah. The previous 10,000 years before that, there were no sources of keeping babies at this perfect 72 degrees at all times. And babies did just fine. We, our ancestors, slept in much more uncomfortable positions than we did. Uncomfortable temperatures and humidities and all those things. So human beings are trained and capable of sleeping in uncomfortable environments. And I would just put your house at whatever comfort level lets you get the sleep that you need, whether it be 68 or 74, I don't know how anybody sleeps at 74 degrees, 68 or 67 or 66 or, you know, whatever it is where your comfort level is. Obviously, we like to sleep on the cooler side and um, we have our fan on in our room year round for us, uh, my wife and I. Um, but don't worry so much about the baby's comfort level. I'd focus more on safety. And you're totally right that you do not need bumpers. You do not need... Um, vertical liners, just save your money, spend it on date night instead, and don't get anything for your baby's crib other than a flat sheet and a uh, firm mattress, and that's all you need. So don't worry about it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, will you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that I put out. And if you'd like to learn more or watch another video, you can click right over here to keep going. Have a good day. Keep up the good work.